You know her face, you know her last name, but how much do you really know about the late Senator John McCain's outspoken daughter? Meghan McCain burst onto the scene in 2007, the year her father launched his second campaign for President of the United States. And while John McCain might not have won the election, Meghan certainly landed a hot seat in American pop culture. And since 2008, the politician's daughter has managed to stay relevant thanks to talk show appearances, the books and columns she's authored, and some controversial opinions. Here's a look at the wild ride that's been Meghan McCain's life. Stirring the pot in 2007, McCain was determined to help her dad widen his appeal to younger voters, and at only 22 years old, she was perfect for the job. She started the McCain blogette in an effort to reach a younger audience, but readers didn't take to her honesty, sass, or sense of humor. There's a lot of people out there, especially young people, that aren't going to beg to be able to be allowed in the Republican Party. McCain told the New York Times that she was surprised by the negative reaction, saying, I just thought I was doing a fun thing and that everyone would want to get in on it. Just a little over a year later, her father's campaign manager banished McCain from her dad's team for being too controversial. A Fearless Woman in addition to being a political commentator, McCain is an author three times over. She published her first book, My Dad John McCain, in 2008, just months before the historic election, and her second book, Dirty Sexy Politics, was published two years later. Finally, in 2012, McCain teamed up with actor and comedian Michael Ian Black to publish America, You Sexy Bitch, A Love Letter to Freedom. Now they're like, don't attack Megan, she's one of us. <laughs> like, a new community, thank you. In the book, McCain praises her parents for allowing her to enjoy a childhood with more freedom, writing, I truly believe growing up in the Wild West has given me an independent perspective. One of my father's strategists once described me as unnaturally fearless for a politician's daughter. From Politics to Playboy in March 2012, four years after John McCain lost the 2008 presidential election, Meghan landed in the pages of Playboy, and though she remained completely clothed, it seemed McCain was ready to shake off her good girl image via the mag's 20 questions. It wasn't the photo that got so much attention. I talked about sex as a conservative, oh and it got a lot of God. attention. But not everyone was excited about her feature. McCain recalled how her father took issue with her Playboy debut, telling Politico, he was not pleased at all. We, that's actually one of the few fights we've ever gotten in about things I've done publicly. Fighting back the shamers In 2011, Fox News host Glenn Beck took to his radio show to diss McCain's skin cancer prevention PSA. Beck repeatedly pretended to vomit. Watching this Megan McCain video where she's naked and I just... Oh, oh boy. Wow. Cool. That's... And he said, When I look at that picture of McCain, I think to myself, I get the point, put some extra clothes on. McCain was not impressed. It was just so hurtful and so it was all over the internet. People were discussing it on the news. Glenn Beck, he's so intellectual. He I know. Boggles the mind. <laughs> The blonde bombshell penned an article for the Daily Beast where she clapped back at Beck, writing, As a person known for his hot body, you must find it easy to judge the weight fluctuations of others, especially young women. Not your typical Republican. You're a more modern Republican, I think, than what people expect from the Republican Party. Do you smoke pot? Um, on occasion. On occasion. Yes. <laughs> McCain identifies as a Republican, but some of her beliefs differ greatly from those of her fellow party members. We are entirely different human beings, but I'm sure we can find a middle ground. McCain believes in the seriousness of climate change, and she's not afraid to make it known. After Hurricane Sandy made landfall in 2012, McCain took to Twitter to ask the GOP if the natural disaster had changed their minds, writing, So, are we still going to go with climate change not being real, fellow Republicans? Another issue McCain feels strongly about is marriage equality. She told Variety, I think any anti-equality rhetoric will be lethal to the Republican Party. Making her voice heard in September 2017, it was announced that McCain would be joining The View as a regular host. Please welcome our new co-host, Megan McCain. <laughs> the news came soon after Jedediah Bila, The View's famously conservative co-host, gave notice she would be leaving the program. This is still a different incarnation of the show, and I think I'm sort of a different incarnation of conservatism. Since joining the talk show, McCain has certainly made her opinions heard. In February 2018, McCain found herself up against co-host Joy Behar over John Kelly's reported knowledge of White House aide Rob Kelly's alleged spousal abuse. Laughing at him being shocked. It's not, it's very serious. Well, look, and as a Republican, I am offended. As a Democrat, the, I'm offended by Republicans. Similarly, in May 2018, McCain caused her co-host's tempers to flare when she used Michelle Wolf's correspondence dinner speech as an example of how conservatives are unfairly bullied by the media. I would like to say, the pause line for what, I mean, again, like, I just feel like sometimes you just want to line up conservatives and throw grapefruits at us. 
losing her father. Even though they've had their fair share of differences, Megan was famously close with her father, and when he was diagnosed with brain cancer in July 2017, his daughter was devastated. At the time, Megan was in the midst of planning her November 2017 wedding to Ben Dominich. She told People, It felt like a nuclear bomb went off in my life. I was a mess. I was barely functioning. Following her father's death on August 25, 2018, Megan released a powerful statement that read, in part, I was with my father at his end as he was with me at my beginning. Now that he is gone, the task of my lifetime is to live up to his example, his expectations, and his love. Dad, I love you. I always have.